Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dorota Pańska International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do a sculpted coffin shape nails with a marble. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Nothing overly too complicated and I will show you step by step how to achieve this look. I really like those gold bits and pieces of the foil. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! I've got my model ready. We are going to apply the form on here. So just pull this tab and then cut two nicks under on the form so we can really nicely apply it in and pinch it well. Then roll in between the fingers so you get a nice C curve shape. Like really nice and close the form gently and then apply it on your model. So once the form sits in nice, we can start closing it. And we will create a nice coffin shape nails, not overly too long. So check if the form is nice and straight. And let's do the coffin nail. So the nail is prepped. And now I'm just going to apply some extra nail dehydrator and the universal air bond. Wait for it to dry a couple seconds and then we can move on into sculpting this beautiful nail. So using my oval gel brush, I'm going to apply the gel. I'm always cleaning it into a nice point. And we are going to use a fiber gel, maybe in a soft pink actually for a change. Yeah, let's do it soft pink. So pick up a small scoop of the gel and press it really hard and well on the natural nail plate. Just so the gel gets everywhere. Then pick up another scoop and build up the free edge. So I'm always applying a little bit at the joining place as well, just so it has an extra support. And now I'm going to build up the free edge. Nice coffin shape. And then other side. It's better to apply it a little bit more um, product on the sides because it's not going to take as long to file it. But this way you can make sure you are not missing any product. By little bit I mean really little bit. And then once you're happy with it we can give it a cure. So half a time cure, which is 30 seconds. And then we can move on into the next step, which will be like a kind of pinky marbly design. Uh, so I'm going to use the paint on French gel for that. Okay, so a couple seconds longer for my nail to cure. And then you can pinch it a little bit. You don't have to necessarily pinch it because we have already pinched it with the, uh, with the form application. But if you want it, you could also apply a pinching clamp just to get it even more slender look. And then finish the curing. And we will move on into actually a fun part, creating those marble. Very easy to do it. Okay, so that's this part of the new cure. Pop it in there. And let's do the marble part. So I'm picking up the scoop of the pink and then picking up a small scoop of the French. 
on my brush and now start applying it into the nail. Like nice and thin around the cuticle area. You could even use a small brush if you want to make it perfect. Clean your brush again. So each time you have to pick up a clean scoop of the product. And because the um, fiber gel is much thicker, <coughs> much thicker consistency, I'm starting with the fiber gel rather than with the paint on French gel. You can see it how easy it is to create a marble this way. Okay, just make sure you've got product everywhere. Don't go like too close to the cuticle and then give it a kill. So I'm going to freeze this product and then we will move on into encapsulation of the uh, bits and pieces and uh, cuticle area. So with the D-liner brush I'm going to touch up the edges of the nail. And I don't want to do it at, on the first part um, just in case if the gel would run. So I'm picking up a small amount of the product and now going very close to the cuticle. Nice and close. Just touch up some places. And because you are working with such a small amount of the product now, you can be really precise at the cuticle area. When I'm doing those type of marbles, I always separate the application into the main part of the nail and then cuticle area. And then give it a cure. I can put my stuff away and we can take a clear gel now. So I'm using a crystal one which is like a watery gel, very, very thin consistency. So with my brush I'm just going to clean it from the white. I'm picking up a very small scoop of the gel, like really small. And we are applying a nice and thin layer through the entire nail. Like really thin layer. And then let's play with our nail art. So I've got some gold flakes of the foil. Actually, um, I will give you the links in the description of the video as well. So all the products are on the page. And now we are going to apply those gold flakes. Absolutely amazing. Like you have to tear them apart into small pieces. And I think this nail looks so super cool, even just like this. So just tear them apart. And place them in the places you want. I want them more to the one side of the nail. Don't want to hide the nicest parts of the marble. So don't overdo it with it. Okay, that's enough. So the foil flat um, goes on the nail really nice and flat. And now we are going to pick up those gold studs. And I've got lots of different ones uh, in there. Obviously, my favorite ones would be these ones. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, but then I would need to do some flower design into that. So I'm not going to use them. And we will use the uh, Playable Bunny. 
don't want to break my nails. <laughs> There we are. So don't use your nails as a tools. And we will go for the bunnies just because I think it goes with the Valentine's theme. So don't apply the bunny too low because we want the free edge to be uh, really nice and um, thin. And you want to encapsulate it a little bit with the gel. I love it because they're so thin that we don't have to apply a huge amount of the product uh, over it to... Um, to be able to cover it and then I'm um, just going to give it a flash cure and then apply clear gel over it so flash cure couple seconds cure just to freeze this gel and then apply a fresh scoop of it okay so now I'm just picking up the gel and apply a fresh scoop of it nice and thin layer through the entire nail so only enough so you can really um, cover the uh, gold flakes and you can cover the bunny as well. You can also improve the shape as well. And then once you're happy with that, pick up another scoop because you can see it, the nail is very flat. So we need to build up the apex and I'm always building up the apex. Uh, after I apply a thin layer of the product. So one side, other side, look at the side view. And it's actually handy to check the side view when you're doing apex. Okay, and then pick up another string of the product. And I love this gel because it's doing the job for me. I don't have to do much. And we've got nice apex. And then give it a cure. So once it's cured, we can file this nail and then apply the top coat. So very quick and uh, easy design to do it. And it is kind of Valentine's theme as well, but not over the top, like white and gold uh, set of nails, uh, really popular uh, in between the clients. Because uh, not everyone wants to wear like um, red or pink nails for Valentine's. So I thought I will show you and the scholars. I'm just going to finish curing this nail to be honest as you can see it also on my nails I'm a bit obsessed with the designer look uh, nails uh, they are really hot uh, at the moment and uh, those logo kind of uh, decorations uh, very popular on the nails so I definitely if you want to see it of course guys I definitely I think I would like to use the Louis Vuitton ones as well or a Dior one, or a Gucci one. Um, I think I need to really um, search more ideas uh, to create a beautiful um, styles with those designers uh, studs. Now we need to remove the form, inhibition layer, and shape the snail. So to make the shape nice, let me move that out. We are going to file it on the sides. Sorry, I'm just going to protect my beautiful designer nails. <laughs> I don't want to damage them, I like them too much. Uh, if you didn't see it, guys, there is a tutorial on those nails as well, how to recreate this look. Check it out. Yeah, and let me know down in the comments below, like, uh, what else you would like to see it. And if you want to see it more of those designer looking nails, like designer nails. Then file the free edge. Okay, so file the free edge. I'm always also checking how the hairline is looking. It looks actually really nice, to be honest. Uh, V-shape, one side, other side. Coffin la loves those straight free edge, like really nice and straight. Then blend everything around the cuticle area. So there is no catchy places. Uh, this way the nails last always uh, much better time. And then smooth everything. Just so it's nice and smooth. And because we have put the clear gel, we don't have to worry that we will overfile the foil or the bunny. <laughs> Thank you. 
file the sides. And then smooth the entire nail. Let me just cut this tape off. So I can clean it as well to see it. So I always like to clean the nail in between the filing just to make sure it has a good shape. <coughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> and then keep smoothing it out. Clean the dust and apply the top coat to see the final look. And then you can see it how nice the bits and pieces of the gold flake are coming up. So does the bunny as well and the design which is underneath. Uh, absolutely beautiful quick look. I'm going to cure it inside the lamp. And I hope guys you have really enjoyed watching this uh, quick and pretty easy tutorial on those uh, designer nails. I'm just going to grab some wipe to give my model a clean so it looks better and I show you this look. So clean everything well. And then that's what we have created today. Nice marble with the gold flakes and a bunny. Glittery hacks and bye for now.